Good morning. Is work going well today, Master Diviner? I am extremely busy of late. If you have something to ask of me, do not delay. Uh... You were about to say something along the lines of... How did you know I wanted to ask something? But then you remembered who you were talking to and decided not to bother, correct? A face is not a reliable instrument of divination. On the contrary, I run a dozen hexagrams before I even get around to breakfast. The results are never far wrong. Today's divinations threw up some unexpected complications. The hexagrammatic position was facilitating between the water and heaven trigrams. The Matrix of Prescience gave the following interpretation. You will have three uninvited guests. This is ultimately auspicious. Ultimately auspicious? Wow, sounds pretty good to me. Seems like we really were destined to meet today then. You know, I see you've been using the Matrix of Prescience to divine into Kafka's past. Well, I have a similar request. Hmm, I see. You wish to use the Matrix to relive the past and awaken parts of your memory? Viable in principle, but whether the Matrix is truly capable of achieving this result remains to be seen. <sighs> I knew it. Things are never simple, are they? Wh who said that? I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was viable in principle. There is a gap of a million light years between impossibility and viability. I feel I must explain in detail the principles behind the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon to avoid any misunderstandings. The Matrix of Prescience does not allow one to remember anything. It merely collects data in order to infer past events, in the same way that future events are inferred. Just as Realm Keeping Commission officers collect forensic evidence to recreate the scene of a crime, there are materials from which we can infer the past. These may be items related to the experience, or memories of the people involved. Miss March's predicament is very different from Kafka's situation, because she doesn't remember what happened in her past. I am no medical professional, but fortunately I'm very fond of reading. We understand that there are two types of memory loss. One, where the memories remain dormant, floating around in the unconsciousness unable to be awakened. And another, that involves direct erasure of memories from the brain. Huh? Who would do such a horrible mean thing? Why don't we try using the Matrix of Prescience to determine which situation pertains to Miss March? Let's begin then by preparing the requisite inference materials. Miss March, your memory is unreliable. To guarantee the Matrix's accuracy, you'll have to provide something related to your past experience. Anything will do. When you're ready, come and find me in the Matrix Core. Uh, the Diviner said I need to provide something from my past experiences. Hmm, what should it be? How about a Sienjo souvenir? Imagine if the divination. Did the Divination Commission put its... <laughs> so, have you acquired something from your past? As a nameless, Surely you must have souvenirs from your journeys that could evoke memories. I've got lots. It's just, I don't know what to choose. Ah, proof that I boarded the Express. The conductor gave me this. Memories from the Astral Express? That should do the trick. Something related to your work. Good. Uh, so shiny 
and pretty. I picked up this little guy in Bellabog's underworld. Uh, they've got loads of it down there. I just chipped off a tiny piece. I can understand the young girl's fondness for glittering gemstones. One of my fondest memories on the Sienjo. <laughs> no comment. I happen to prefer Star Taro bubble tea. Is that it? Miss March, are you not able to provide possessions from before you lost your memory? Uh, before I lost my memory? So, something I don't remember getting? Even then, I couldn't be sure it was from before I lost my memory, right? It may be strange to you, but to infer the past, I need materials that were pertinent at that time. Could you try recalling some memories again? From before the memory loss... Before the express... I'm sorry, Master Diviner. When Himeko found me in the ice, I was stark naked. Like a newborn baby. I didn't have any items with me. And before you ask, no, I don't have any of that ice lying around. It melted away not long after I was rescued. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you sure are a smart cookie. My six-phase ice ability must date from before the memory loss. Master Diviner, any ice I create should do, right? It should indeed. I'll have someone place the material in the base of the terminal, the Matrix. Miss March, please position yourself in the Matrix core. We may begin our inference whenever you are ready. The Matrix has clear diagnostic. Miss March, are you ready yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be. Oh. Please be prepared. Not all memories are suitable for reawakening. People carry with them much pain and suffering. If you're not ready, we can pause the inference process. I would never wish for good intentions to result in harm. Uh, I'm okay. Let's do it. Only way to find out is to give it a go. Very well. I will soon connect you to the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, where the Matrix will read your memories and guide you back into your past. If you reach a block in your memory, the Matrix will use the data gathered to derive a scenario and construct a possible past for you. Got it. Oh, um, can she join me too? I'm sorry. That would be highly inadvisable. You form the nexus of the Matrix's inference. She would only introduce redundant data to the system. In other words, inside the memory palace that the Matrix constructs, the only person you'll be able to count on is yourself. Don't worry. I can communicate with you from outside the Matrix and manipulate the recollection process to a certain extent. Let's begin. The Matrix of Presnience has reconstructed your past. Before you is a space generated from the memories and items you provided as raw materials. Are you okay, Miss March? Uh, my head is spinning. As expected. Most individuals feel nauseous after being presented with the dizzying excess of information provided by the Matrix. I must be seeing things. Why are there two Fushens here? Your eyes are working just fine. One of the Fushwens is a projection of me which allows us to communicate with each other at all times. The other Fushuen indicates that I existed during this part of your experience. What experience is this? It looks like the healer's market. Uh, 
Unless I'm mistaken, this must be the time we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Really? Well, that can't be right. I remember there were lots of Cloud Knights in the plaza. Well, this is just a Matrix inference, remember? Distortions are possible. Although the scale of this distortion is surprising. Try communicating with the Fu Xuan you see over there. We should hear what the Master Diviner has to say. Miss Fu Xuan, is that you? <sighs> Wrong Fu Xuan. Talk to the other one. Miss Fu Xuan, is that you? If we want to resolve the Stellaron crisis, we must refine the question. What is the crux of the problem? Generally, it is believed that when one seizes on the crux of a problem, the problem will split open like bamboo on the edge of a knife. Nobody could have foreseen the catalyzing effect of the Stellaron in the Ambrosial Arbor. As the ancients said, blessings bring about misfortune and vice versa. Nature has its own algorithm, and it is precisely when fate wins betwixt blessing and misfortune that I, a master diviner of masterful proportions, am called on to save the people of the La Fu. What the heck is she talking about? Master diviner, did you actually say that at the time? I can't remember. It would appear that in Miss March's estimation, I'm somewhat of a... blabbermouth. <laughs> no, uh, I've always seen you as the... A masterful master diviner. <laughs> Despite the obvious distortions in this experience, the base materials from which it is composed are taken from your actual memory. There is no falsehood here. In other words, your subconscious mind thinks that I talk in tongue twisters. <laughs> uh, it's mainly just that I uh, can't always comprehend the... Lofty ideals and, um, principles you discuss. Forget it. Now is not the time for losing one's temper. If the inferred experience is distorted, we should focus on filtering out each distortion one by one. Otherwise, we won't be able to trace your memories back any further. Um, this is getting a little complicated. Is there a simpler explanation? <sighs> Draw your bow and fire an arrow at that Fu Xuan. suddenly deciding to fight me. Now, let's see who's here. Ting Yun, Welt, General Jing Yuan, and also her. Uh, I don't have to fight all of them, right? The Master Diviner was easy peasy, but I don't think I could take General Jing Yuan. Easy peasy? <laughs> the interference factor creating the distortion here should only have one source. That is, the person present who shouldn't be. So, I have to pick someone and clear them of interference? Exactly. My projection will disappear for the moment so as to not cloud your judgment. If you can hear my voice, then it means I'm watching over you. You're the best, Master Diviner. <laughs> I hope the best version of me can overwrite the gloriously absurd version that lives in your subconsciousness. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could that be? Hey! Fancy seeing you here. Hey, it's fine if you don't want to talk in real life, but this is my memory, so it's my rules. Come on, say something. Something. Serious.
Seriously? We have similar recollections of her. Leave your memories in the past. They have no place in the present. Did you hear that, Master Diviner? Now she's talking weird. Would you like to take a look at the latest edition of the Sienjo Beauty Index? The chance of drawing a Law Fu Playboy card is super high right now. Miss Ting Yoon, it's great to see you so happy, but I can't help feeling a little sad. The past is in the past. What is there to feel sad about? Live every day as if it were your last. Don't be sad. March, get ready. The next fight is going to be very dangerous. Huh? Which next fight? Stay focused. Fantilia is headed for the Ambrosial Arbor. If we don't stop the Lord Ravager, it'll be a catastrophe. Okay, all right. Got it. Another thing. The future is what's most important for us. Don't you agree, March? What? Dwelling on memories can numb your sense of the present and inhibit future ambitions. Miss Fu Shen, do people in memories always say weird stuff like this? The distortions we are experiencing are unorthodox. Must we clear all the wrong options? It's called perfectionism. General? Uh, General Jing Yuan? Uh, Jing Yuan? <clears throat> oh, what's his deal? Who falls asleep standing up anyway? This is clearly your subconscious projecting onto the general. Oh, I remember now. The general wasn't there when we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Looks like we found the source of our distortion. March 7th. You scared me! Why'd you wake up so suddenly? Are you not satisfied with your life as it is? I... I'm satisfied. Then why are you obsessing over the past? Human <laughs> creation! <laughs> And awaken! Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! What is that? Uh, I know what this is. It's a Bellabog heater. Um, wait a minute. What's a Bellabog heater doing at the healer's market? Looks like part of one experience has infiltrated another. A foreign object, so to speak. A foreign object? That sounds like a medical issue. <laughs> Will it require surgery? No. I believe the object is a sign of the Matrix purging distortion. It has managed to trace back to another one of your experiences. Make contact with the object. Let's see if we can jump over into that experience. Bellabog. I've seen that name somewhere in the astral charts. There are many similar star systems on the Sienjo trade routes. Unfortunately, all of them lost contact after the appearance of the Antimatter Legion. Yeah, Bellabog 
Hawk is a kind of snowy doomsday city. There are heaters like this all over the place. Otherwise, people wouldn't survive. Come on, Master Diviner. I'll give you a whirlwind tour of Bellabog. Uh, is touching a heater a good idea? This thing is red hot. What if my hand turns extra crispy? It's okay. This is a memory space. If something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. Oh, well, I was never beaten up by Jing Yuan in reality either. Enough of that. Touch it. Uh, hey, don't pull on my hand. I... Ow, ow, ow! Hot, hot, hot! Oh, what the actual... That thing was flaming hot! You said things that never happened to me in reality couldn't happen here. I said that if something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. I didn't say anything about the sensation of injury. So this is Bellabog. I was expecting it to be cold. Oh, it's freezing. Huh? Master Diviner, aren't you cold? I can't stop shivering. Hmm. Most likely a result of me never having experienced true cold. I'm afraid you'll have to do the shivering by yourself. On the Lofu, you and I have shared experiences. And so I was able to provide more active assistance. But in Bellabog, you'll have to rely on your own judgment to ascertain the source of distortion and get the foreign object to appear. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, Miss March. I have one more thing to ask. Have you ever experienced great suffering? Uh, what? I don't think so. Why are you suddenly asking me that? Sometimes people forget extreme memories to protect themselves from suffering. Perhaps you didn't notice, but in your memories of the Lofu, everyone you met was either hinting or explicitly stating that you should stop trying to remember. I believe this is most likely your subconscious communicating with you directly. Though, of course, we cannot rule out that external forces may have interfered with your memory. In the latter case, it is possible that someone decided to leave warnings in your subconscious to prevent you from recalling the truth. Am I really that important to someone? I don't think there's anyone who'd go to all the trouble of locking up my memories. And yet, Memories are precisely what you seek, no? Hmm. I say this to say one thing. Are you certain you wish to continue exploring your memories? You said external forces might be messing with my head, right? That just makes me more curious. No one gets away with locking up my memories. Let's go. I'll show you the way to Goethe Hotel. <laughs> Very well. I must admit that I'm finding the whole matter more interesting by the minute. This memory should be from the first day we arrived in Bellabog. By the second... ...day we were wanted criminals already. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could it be? The tea service at Goethe Hotel is first class, especially this whale tide spring. They say that an architect once used the preservation's power to make camellias bloom on the snow plains, and that this tea is made from those leaves. Whale tide spring? Isn't that a variety of Sienjo tea? My brain must be filling in the blanks. Probably because I never drank any famous tea in Bellabog. <laughs> so bitter! Yuck! Bitter tea is good for your health. Ugh, bitter is bitter. If it tastes like that, it doesn't really matter how good for you it is. There's an old saying in Bellabog. Blessed is he who can eat the bitterest of bitter. These experiences are becoming increasingly distorted. Seems like my subconscious mind has no talent for screenwriting. I'm not sure your conscious mind does either. Uh, I'm not denying it. Long time no see, Zila. March? Long time no see. 
How's everything been going since you left Bellabog? The Express never looked back. It headed straight for the other end of the galaxy. Because that was its fate. The same goes for us. We can't return to the past. March, don't dwell on the past. It won't do you any good. Trust me. Uh, got it? Thanks. These warnings are ongoing. The situation is becoming stranger by the minute. It sure is. Uh, let's press on and see what awaits. I remember our second day in Bellabog was mostly us being hunted down by Silvermane guards. We didn't meet Dila until way later. Which means... Dila shouldn't be appearing in this memory. She's the source of the interference. In which case, we must eliminate her. Seems like you don't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just... An answer is not required. She's merely a mirage hindering your progress. I understand. Let's do this. <laughs> Let me see. Developed on Herta Space Station. Seems like this must be the foreign object. The next experience should be meeting her for the first time. Herta Space Station. What an excellent cup of tea. It's a pity not everyone can appreciate its beauty. Much like the gift of forgetting, Miss March, it's bitter at first but with a gentle aftertaste. Hmm, this Branya is really different from the Branya I remember. The force that's distorting this experience is nearby. Do you have to make it sound all scary? Rest easy. I can guarantee your safety while you're inside the Matrix of Prescience. Welcome to the Sampa Hotel, Miss March. The Sampa Hotel used to be called the Goethe Hotel. After old Goethe retired, Sampo managed to trick his way into acquiring this place, and renamed it after himself. Luckily, the high-quality service of the hotel remains undiminished. It's still the best place to stay in the administrative district. I should mention, the Sampo Hotel's new slogan is, Don't think about the past. Strive for your future. Sounds like the kind of ad copy that Miss March would like. This girl seems quite trustworthy. Uh, that's just the work of my subconscious mind. This March 7th. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. I'm Japard, the security here. Why would hotel security need to be armed to the teeth? Is there great lawlessness in Bellabog? Uh, no, no, no. Japard is a captain of the Silvermane Guards. Just like how the Lafu has its own Cloud Knights captains. I have no idea what he's doing running security at a hotel like this, though. It isn't so surprising. In attempting to pursue the rational, we piece together the unrelated. Excuse me, Miss March. Do you need anything? If there's nothing else, please let me get back to my duty. Also, allow me to remind you. You cannot change the past. The future is all that's left for you. Hmm, that actually does feel like something he would say. Miss March! Long time no see! Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. Uh, the Sampo Hotel? This is Goethe Hotel! Was Goethe Hotel. <laughs> now it's the Sampo Hotel. In the autumn of his years, old Goethe got too old to run this place, so he handed it down to his most trusted young confidant, Sampo Kuski. And before you get the wrong idea, there was zero trickery involved. This was a cherished agreement between gentlemen. 
You see, Elgerta and I chose to face the future instead of clinging to memories of the past. You should do the same, March. This blue-haired fellow has an air of deceit about him every time he opens his mouth. <laughs> you don't need a jade abacus to get a feel for Sampo. Shame we didn't get to see the stunning vistas of the snow plains. This hotel lobby must have left a deep impression on you. Well, waking up after a great sleep in a comfy bed to find out you're a wanted criminal tends to leave a deep impression. Let's move on to the next stop. Uh, I mean, the last stop. Let's go. So long as you're ready. Uh, I'll take a monitor over a red-hot heater any day. March, wake up. We have to hurry. Huh? Are we going? What about Miss Fushuen? Fu Shuen? Who's that? And there's no time for daydreaming. The space station is in crisis. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me. Asta said that the Stellaron is stored in that room up ahead. And I'm guessing the Legion might also be interested in its whereabouts. I know this memory. This is before we met her. Who? March. You're being really weird today. Follow me. Don Hung, where are you? Master Diviner? Can you hear me? Oh, darn it, something must have gone wrong. What am I gonna do? Why did Miss Fushuen pick the scariest time to vanish? March, can you... me? I'm getting more and more evidence that your memories have suffered interference. But I don't know where from. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to do it by myself this time. Watch. If you insist on looking back, you'll find nothing but confusion and chaos. You were the last princess, and also the last survivor of the Diamond World Hadley. The planet was burned to an obsidian hellscape the moment Nanook ascended. Filled with despair, your parents swaddled you in warm clothing and placed you into an ice ship. As they watched you sink into the turbulent waves of the starscape, they felt a newfound hope. You are found and raised by strangers. You are the only savior, the promise of rebirth. Oh, wait! I wrote that! That's a story I made up about my past! Ah, oh, great. Forget memories. Now everyone gets to see my imagination. March, have you forgotten your past experiences? Surely your bow there is enough evidence for you. You were once a galaxy ranger, engaged in a bitter fighting battle with the remnants of the swarm. You rescued a planet in the Emerald System that was about to be swallowed by a black hole smashing through Dr. Primitive's carefully laid plans. You were severely wounded during the battle for Vonwok. The leader of the Rangers encased you in ice to protect you and waited for you to recover. My bow? But Himeko made that for me. You're lying! March 7th. One of the nameless aboard the Astral Express. After being picked up by Himako, she was freed from a six-faced ice in which she was encased. She lost all memory of the past. Because she had no past to speak of, she was an eon, and eons have no past. From the moment they ascend, the past and future of their existence becomes inundated by their past. March 7th's mistake was the loss of the authority of the Eons. Could it be? That never even occurred to me. But I guess it's not impossible. <sighs> Finally. All done. I better meet up with Fu Xuan if I want to keep going through my memories. March, leave your memories in the past. Why do you insist on returning to them? If they were so important to you, wouldn't you have remembered them? 
the moment a nameless boards the express, a new life begins. We set out on a new road, never to return. Explore, trailblaze, but do not dwell on the past. You'll tarnish the reputation of the nameless. Hmm. Uh, enough! You're not her! Nothing like her! She would never try and force me to give up something so important to me. I don't care who you are. Disappear right now and let me pass. And don't you ever pretend to be one of my friends again! of the past. Together as one. <laughs> Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. This is the first time we met her. But she isn't here. Who are you? I don't remember you. I am a messenger of the Garden of Recollection. Miss March, please refrain from looking back upon your past. Leave the Matrix of Prescience and return to reality. The past is not worth exploring. It will only hurt you. You're the one who needs to leave. I'm not letting this go. The Garden of Recollection? Did the Glow Sweater send you? Are you the one meddling with my observations? What do you want with this girl? No matter the nature of your intentions, stealing others' memories like this, deceiving them, blinding them, I cannot allow that to happen. <sighs> you leave me no choice but to resort to unconventional means. Miss March, this might feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to enter your memory world and help you clear out any obstacles.
for your help, Miss Fushuen. I promised I'd watch over you. Besides, I've been blessed by the Wisdom Walker. I will never tolerate efforts to impede the truth. That person said she was a messenger. The Garden of Recollection. Why would they come after me? Many members of the Garden have their own agenda. It's impossible to confirm anything from a cursory introduction. This is the Astro Express, no? It would seem that you're nearing the source. The Matrix of Prescient's Ultima should start making further calculations soon. Do you remember where it was exactly that you were discovered? They set the ice down in one of the passenger cars. It ended up being my room. Then let's pass through this carriage and find your room. Don Hung, let's crack open this ice block. Perhaps we can still see. Be careful not to harm her. I've got this. Pom Pom, go and get the first aid kit. Going, going, gone! And this must be when the crew first found me. I don't remember a thing. Some. What's going on? How come we're back at the start? It's the messenger. She's interfering with your movements again. Don't look the back. Keep going forward. Don't look back. Keep going forward. Don't look back. Keep going forward. It seemed like that kid was trapped in ice, but the substance doesn't share the same physical properties. How bizarre. The crystals show at least six structures under differing conditions. Six phased ice. The galaxy really is an enigma. Of course, I hope we can take her in. Or, uh, rather, I can offer a conclusion based on the most basic of moral judgments. Now that we've found her, we have to look after her. But, naturally, I'm concerned about whether or not this places the Astral Express in any danger. The Astral Express welcomes everyone! Don't worry! Do what you feel is right, and Pom-Pom will take care of the rest. Thanks. I feel more at ease now. I just hope she'll have a good time on the Express and not feel too alienated from the rest of us. Stop worrying so much. Pom Pom will say it again. The Astral Express welcomes everyone. agreed to take you in. I'm in exile. And by the look of things, you might not have a home to go back to either. But here on the Express, <laughs> nobody is alone. Himiko said that your vitals were all stable. She just didn't know when you'd regain consciousness. fear has been thwarting your progress this whole time maybe the only way for you to find your past is to take a step back don't look back keep going forward i get it if i do the exact opposite i'll find my way out you're a true genius march as soon as you open this door the matrix of prescience will start calculating your past Whenever you're ready. Uh, is this my room? I didn't get a chance to tidy up. Don't judge. This is your room? That block of ice in the center. Has it always been there? Ice? This must be the foreign object. Looks like our exploration has reached its final stage. 
I will confirm one last time. Are you sure you wish to keep exploring your past? Yes. I'm sure. Master Diviner? She is busy running the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. You again? What I do with my past is none of your business. Why do you have to make things so difficult? <sighs> Please, trust the Garden of Recollection. Everything I'm doing is for your protection. You don't protect people by imprisoning them. We know. If you are truly set on learning about your past, then come with me. I'll show you the origin that you seek. I hope that you will refrain from exploring any further than this. Trust me when I say, nothing good can come of it. There it is, your origin. Your life unfolds from this point on, full of unique experiences and adventure. What happened prior is meaningless to you. The value of your life does not lie in what happened in the past, but in the present and the future. The eagle returns from an unsuccessful hunt. The sailor avoids the course they know to be dangerous. And you, my child, should come to learn that the past is just an illusion. But your experiences now will be remembered forever. It is time to say goodbye. Here, a parting gift for you. I look forward to our next encounter. Uh, wait! Hold on! <sighs> Miss Fu Xuan, why did the simulation just cut off like that? I don't know. Before I could figure out what was going on, it spat me out. And the Matrix of Prescience stopped at precisely the same moment. March, I lost sight of you once you touched that block of ice. What happened? It's kinda hard to explain. So... That mysterious girl was really a messenger of the Glow Swather? Glow Swather? You mean Fu Li, the Remembrance? Are they the Eon connected to my past? No, it's too early to draw such a conclusion. All I can say is that it was very likely an Eon that sealed away your memories. But not necessarily Fu Li. When the messenger spoke of protection, perhaps she meant the following. By sealing away your memories, the Glow Swather wasn't attempting to harm you but to shield you from the memories themselves. It's not so bad. At least I know it has to do with the Garden of Recollection, right? It seems like retrieving memories is beyond the operational spectrum of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. That's all right. You've helped me so much already, Master Diviner. I owe you a big one. Mm. If you'll excuse me, I must organize an inspection of the Matrix. <sighs> Fingers crossed there's no damage done. Uh, we'll leave you to it then. <clears throat> uh, run. If we broke something, there'll be a huge bill to pay.